Hi, my name is Lauren from ACA, and today we're going to talk about business and everyday English. Learning a language is more than just learning the verb tenses and vocabulary. There are different contexts that use different phrases and grammar. You speak differently with your boss than you do with your friends and colleagues. So let's take a look at how you use business and everyday English. So let's talk about business English. You use business English when you talk to your clients, your colleagues and associates. Business English is clear, comprehensive and accurate. It requires particular structure and vocabulary. There's a saying in business, time is money. Everyone is busy and that is shown in business English. When speaking to someone, be as clear and direct as possible while still being polite. There are many different idioms and expressions used in the business setting. If you use these expressions in the real world, you will look a bit weird, but in the workplace, they fit perfectly. It can range from little changes like consensus and agreement and permission and authorization to full phrases like learning the ropes or back to square one. Everyday English is marked by these colloquial vocabulary. Slang and colloquial language are not usually appropriate in the workplace. You need to be careful about using these in the business setting. And while you can use this in the business world, it's a rule of thumb to keep it out of the workplace. So now let's take a look at some scenarios. Think about the context of the situation and think about which one is more appropriate. Don't worry, I'm going to give you some choices. So tell me about your experience in the field. It was dope. I learned a lot during my time there. You can see in the first option, slang is not appropriate for a job interview. It's much too casual. Pardon the interruption. May I have a word with you? Come with me, I need to talk to you. In the first example, I use polite expressions which are more appropriate in the workplace whereas the second one is much too direct and impolite. I'm afraid I don't see it that way. Are you crazy? No way. In the first example, we softened the disagreement with the apology, sorry, while the second one is much more abrupt and blunt. So now let's take a look at some phrases, and I want you to tell me if you think it's more appropriate to say it to your friend or to your boss. Are you ready? I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks. See you later. I was wondering if I could ask you something. Would you mind if I spoke with you for a moment? Could I borrow your jacket? So hopefully you have a better understanding of the differences between business and everyday English. If you like this, please check out our website, lesbonmonts.ca, for more videos as well as our podcast and blog. Bye for now.